resist arrest, screaming, crying, she's mad at her boyfriend. Don't do that. You're gonna hurt yourself. Don't hit your head. After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Five is just called. We're gonna go out and see what's going on. Person could be combative. They were combative at one point, so the officer was on the street called it as a code five. They're fighting, resist arrest, screaming, crying. She's mad at her boyfriend. Don't do that. You're gonna hurt yourself. Don't hit your head. You know, she's obviously agitated, yeah. and so I'm pretty sure we're going to go into the chair. Just for a precautionary measure, we're going to put a spit mask on her. Although she hasn't been spitting, you never know. Yeah, I'm from San Diego. I don't know anybody here. I'm going to put this on your head for our protection, OK? I got it. I got it. I never did it. OK, OK. I'm very scared. Come on, come Stand up. I will obey every obey you ask. I obey every obey we ask? Of course I will, ma'am. I can't breathe! I Don't can't bang your breathe, head. ma'am! Take the mask off! Take the mask off! I can't breathe! Let it off! I will ask you whatever question. I'm a grown woman. I can't breathe! Answer his questions. Uh, Answer his questions. I'll move you over here and I'll take the mask off. You promise? Finish the questions. Yes, sir. You taking medication for today? No, sir. I want your alcohol for you tonight. Two drinks. Do you want to hurry yourself right now? I want to go home, sir. Okay. <laughs> Nice and cool. Stay cool and calm. I'll take the mask off for you, okay? Thank you, guys. I appreciate you all very much. But I'm a beautiful person. Why are you doing this to me? Stay calm. Cooperate with the officers. Now, look at the park in the corner now. Let's give her a cool off period. Hopefully, she'll relax a little bit and we'll let her go up. Can you tell me why Whitney's here tonight? A female was in the casino battering a guest, screaming and yelling at security guards. We asked her to calm down. She wouldn't calm down. Attempted to put her in handcuffs, started fighting with us, kicking, screaming, yelling, trying to hit us, so here we are. Whitney, can I tell you what I think? Yes, sir. You're 19 years old, correct? Yes, sir. I think that you shouldn't have decided to go in a casino and drink. I didn't go in the casino, though. Where Was did you... I in a casino? Where did you drink? I don't even remember going in there, dude. Whitney. Treasure Island. They Whitney. brought me in there. Who did? The, the, my friends, my boyfriend's friends. OK, well, you're a grown woman. Nobody brings you anywhere. You decided yes, to go sir. there. Do you realize that you're underneath the legal age to drink? Yes, sir. That kind of where this whole situation started was your decision it's to drink. my eyes a lot more. Good. <laughs> All right, I'll be back for you. <laughs> What's MLK? I can ask you your tattoos on your head, buddy, and I can look at That's them. That's respectful, man. That's it's disrespectful for me to ask about the tattoos on your head. Did you see how you grabbed me? When an officer asks you what's on your head, you don't get your little smart mouth remarks. What's in my head? Do what's you see a, it in what's my head? on your head? Do I, I have like an afro like you asked? No, you have a tattoo on your head, and that's what I asked you about. Pay attention and do what you're told. Dude, you're going to go south here real quick. Right here on your tattoo, what'd you cover up with the don't snake? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, huh? It's my job to worry about it. What, you get fried by being tough? Now I want, I want pictures of all his cats. Well, you might as well walk out of those, buddy. Ah, and get him some pants that fit. Ah! I simply asked you what was on top of your head, and you got your attitude. That's where it all started. A simple question about your tattoos. Ah! On the ground. Ah! Oh, 
move. Interesting. Just the whole thing was they just asked him about the tattoos on his head, and he immediately got that attitude. Yep. You know, and he's trying to show it off because he's got his head. No, I'm just anyway. trying to generate some uh, some friends up there and uh, for the rest. You ready to get out? I'm scared. Don't be scared, ma'am. I'm scared. There's nothing to be scared of. I live in San Diego. <laughs> Listen to me. You're starting yes, with that emotional yes, downtrodden sir. path here. Yes, we can't be doing that. Maintain, hold it together. I'm gonna let you sit up here, I'm gonna let you use the telephone, okay? All right, Whitney, come on. You're in my room now, okay? Is that the, the alcohol is wearing off now. I'm gonna give her a shot out here and see what happens. Uh, hopefully she'll be able to hold it together. You can use the phone after breakfast, okay? You gonna eat something? Maybe it'll make you feel a little bit better? Yeah, you need to eat something, Whitney. Go ahead and eat something. Okay, that chair is still a viable option. Okay, so I suggest you sit there, eat something, and then we'll let you use the telephone, okay? I don't get to say nothing. I've been through worse. Just so you know, we check out everybody's tattoos when they come in. We check out for tattoos to see if you have to have any enemies in here. What if you had an Ortenio tattoo on and you came into my jail and another Southsider sees that? You're an open mark. You're green lighted. Your life is in danger. We have to know that kind of stuff. I get when you're, no, when you're trying to hide Before stuff. Somebody else listen, Hernan, you're not paying attention. When you're trying to hide things and not allow us to see what you have right when you first come in. This. That game's not working. Man. This process is officially on hold. Let's go, B. He's not under the influence. He's under the influence of being a Southsider. Yeah. And hiding behind the tattoos. Yeah, he continues on with that same persona that he had. He'll get tired of sitting there, and his attitude will change. into here a lot of them can be very emotional and if they're not able to calm down then it takes more attention off of everybody else and onto them which absolutely makes my job harder come face the wall Cindy what's going on tonight why are I you so know. upset my ex-boyfriend he you won't know what he did he said he would kill me if he ever saw me again. That's what he said. Why, did you break his heart? No. He put a gun to my head. We need to talk about the current boyfriend. We got to let the other one go. OK, All the right? boyfriend present. He is my best friend's brother. You can put your hand up on the wall. OK, so here's my best friend, OK? This is best friend right best friend. there. Got it. OK. OK, that's best friend. Here's my best friend's brother. This is best friend's boy brother, right brother, there. Brother, best, best friend's, friend's brother. brother. Got it. Best friend. OK. OK. They're related. Related. My best friend's boyfriend and my boyfriend's brother is related. No, I totally didn't understand a word of that, but I appreciated the hand gestures. It helped a little bit. Take your jacket off. OK. So what does that have to do with tonight? I don't know. You don't know? Were you celebrating tonight? I was just going out with my best friend. With your best friend? Of course. My only friend. No, you have more. No, no, no. You're going to make more once no, you're I in really here. I really don't want to know why. Why? Because my boyfriend keeps <laughs> all the friends from me. And I have a handcuff on my arm. You had a handcuff on your arm before. You just didn't see it because it was behind you. But I would never have this stuff if it wasn't for him. The ex-boyfriend. The current. The current boyfriend? I thought you said you loved the current boyfriend. I do. But he got you in trouble. Like... We're going to get past this, OK? Let's go get you screened by medical. And then when really you get done, then we'll talk about this seriously, all right? Come on, let's go. She was driving on the boulevard with no lights on, and uh, one of my partners went to stop her. Um, she drove for like a mile. Um, eventually, they pulled her over. Um, she was so drunk, she couldn't take FSTs. Um, then just arrested her and drove her here. 
Alcohol to drugs? I've yeah. had like two shots. Maybe three. Maybe three. Okay, two. Okay, this is honestly, I had like two shots and then I had a mixed drink at Fat Tuesdays. Anything else? Okay, I've been smoking pot a lot lately. I'm sorry. That's it though. That's it? Anything? That's it. Anything I swear else? to God. Did you inhale? Huh? Did you inhale? Like Coke? No, no, marijuana. No, 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 no. Come on. We're gonna sober up together, and we're gonna get out of here. Hey, whoa, what? If, you have a chance, huh? if my boyfriend calls you, can yes. you please talk to him? I you? told you, I will talk. If he calls me, I will tell him what's going on, and he will not be mad at you, okay? He's really mad at me. No, he's not. Okay, do you want to have a seat on any chair? What happened tonight? Why are you so? Oh, what happened tonight? <laughs> my dad. Your dad? When did your dad get into the picture? Was he here tonight? Always in the picture. How old are you? Nineteen. Nineteen. Why are we drinking tonight? We shouldn't be drinking ever, right? We can't handle our liquor, right? I'm freezing. Cindy, you're a mess right now. What is going on? Why are you mad at dad and your boyfriend? Did you ever leave your drink unattended at all tonight? I've been living in fear. All right, Cindy, I'm gonna let you cool off for a little bit. Do you understand that? I'll come back, Cindy, you okay? Don't understand that. Oh my gosh, that is really bad. I'm extremely, extremely intoxicated, and she's not even making sense. Everybody she's referring to is a man, and she can't even explain why she's here or what she's done, but that's her typical young drunk. Cindy! Cindy, come on, it's your turn. Stand in there for me. Turn to the right. This way. Don't cry. All right, take your jewelry out for me. We have to put it with your other. You have you have a watch, a necklace. You have a, a nose piercing. Earrings. Hold on, this might have boogers on it. Oh no, I'm not gonna watch. <laughs> I, know, I, I never can watch this <laughs> part. Clean, oh good, thanks. I gotta know what you were drinking tonight. I was drinking 190 octane yes. from Fat Tuesday. Stop it. I had about three of them. You're too little to have all that alcohol. I drink a this lot. One. There's a lot of stuff hiding behind these cuteness, believe it or not. 190 octane? That'll... My dad's been in and out of the system my whole life. Oh, sorry to hear that. It's OK, I'm whatever. OK, we're done. Go with Cindy. that off. Come on. What you're gonna do is I want you to have a seat in the first row over there on the right, okay? You got it? You can do this, right? You're doing much better than when you first came in. All right, good luck. It's been a crazy night. She's not a very big girl, so just even a couple of shots would have really messed her up. What did I say? First row. It's one day of her life, she's a young girl. She'll bounce back. Hopefully she'll go to court, she won't get any warrants. We see this all the time. Possible code five, ETA four. Possible code five, ETA four. Right now, we just got a call for a code five female. That just means that an officer is going to be bringing a female in that's either combative or definitely resisting. Whether she walks in on her own, which we're going to hope for, or if she doesn't, then we're going to place her in the restraint chair. What's going on with her? What's her story? She's here for her lawyer for the purpose of prostitution. OK. So she's pretty high right now. She said she's on track today. She smoked meth. And yesterday, so she slammed. I'm not a prostitute. No? We doing a little dope? Two days ago, I, Two days I, ago? I shot up. But did tonight, you? I smoked. I did a couple of hits of crack. Can you do me a favor? There's okay. something wrong with my head. What's wrong with Lost. my face? No, we know it's. Wait, is it my face gonna go back to She's normal? She's very wiry. Is my face gonna go back to normal? My face is normal. My face is gonna go back to normal. Yes, ma'am, it will. Stop kicking. Look at my face. Why is my face like this? Stop. What? Or something. I mean, stop. What? Is my head gonna go back to normal? There's something wrong with my head. I need to see a doctor. You 
you have a perfect head. They're both in my scope! When's the last time you did the drugs? Tonight. Anything else besides meth? I'm dying of someone's placing me a drink of water. It's fine, I need to go back to normal. It's changing. Well, okay. my face go back to normal. Your face will go back to normal. They're both in my scope! Under the influence of uh, some type of drug, and uh, she's obviously having a psychotic episode, so she's gonna go straight up to 2C and be evaluated. Tuck your hands behind your butt, ma'am. Ow! Hands all the way down. Can I see a mirror? I don't have a mirror, ma'am. But you look wonderful. Take my, take my mask off. Look at my face! It's We're making it better. No, you're hurting my head! Yeah. Ah! She's gonna have a cooling down period. Do not exceed more than two hours. Just that way we can gauge her behavior and know uh, what we expect with her. We'll leave her up in the cell and then we'll just watch her behavior. Yeah, that hasn't happened in a long time. I had more than that. What happened tonight? I was stabbed in the neck with a pair of scissors and they didn't arrest him, but they arrest me. For stabbing somebody with a pair of scissors? No, he stabbed me in my neck with a pair of scissors. Have you been drinking? Yes, ma'am. And I'm drunk, and I apologize. All right. This was um, with your boyfriend, with your husband? Who is he to you? He's a friend. You thought he was your friend, but obviously not. Yes. How old are you? I'm 52. You're 52? OK, come here. But I let everything like use me and abuse me. I'm tired of it. Well, then you need to not have other people like that oh, around you. you. Come on. Let's go get screened by medical. I want you to go down this lane right here. Our medical's going to call you up. And then come sit back here. What's the story with her? Basically, what happened was her friend was letting her crash there for a couple days since she's homeless. She got drunk and started arguing with him. He said that was enough. Got her called us to get her out of the house, or get her out of the house. And she got upset. So she's trying to place the blame on him, saying that he stabbed her yeah, with he, the scissors. Yeah, she keeps saying that he was trying to kill her and all that good stuff. Did a warrants check. She had a couple of warrants, so she had to come down here. Well, thank you. Some guy stabbed me in my neck and raped me, and I'm sitting here in cuffs. OK, I'll get back to you. So it's only halfway through my shift, and as you can see, especially from these bags, it's a full house. It's only gonna get crazier. I didn't do nothing to nobody. It's really tight. Leave the chain alone. If you take that off, I will tighten it up even further to understand. Okay. Come on, you slipped your cuffs. You're like a magician. They're falling off me. I'm not slipping out. You thought it was cute. You were warned. Stand up. Rebecca, you slipped your cuffs. You're like a magician. You thought it was funny. You thought it was cute. You were warned. They're falling off me. I'm not slipping out. OK, stand up. Right over here. Am I in trouble? You're close to being. I will not be surprised if you slip these two. However, I made it a little more harder for you, though. Just give me more of a challenge. I don't want to put it right. I a like challenge. I can tell. <laughs> you got nothing but time in here to figure this one out, yeah, OK? I got a minute. I'm going to be here a minute. I appreciate the little magic tricks, but I don't have time for it, OK? Yeah. Sit back here. You're going to be good? OK. All right, Paige, listen up. Pull my shoulders back. Just relax. We're going to take you out of the chair. You're going to get medical my head. treatment. Everybody's making me paranoid. All right, right now, we've finally got her removed from the restraint chair. She's still a little erratic. We're going to have medical come down, check her out, make sure she has no injuries. No, don't go down. Hey, Paige, come in. What happened when you first came here? You remember? I remember thinking I, uh, I, you guys gave me. No, I just thought you guys gave me that physical thinking I am. Uh, right. With the jaw. And this officer kept grabbing my jaw. I'm like, don't, don't pull my jaw out. Don't okay. Pull my jaw out. But I'm glad you're feeling better. You look a lot better than when you first came in. You gonna go lay down now? Yep. Okay, Paige is all over the place. 
It's a shame. She's 21, young girl, sitting in jail. All right, have a seat. Why don't you put this on? We don't want those boys checking you out in the next room. Please. All right, come on. Let's go in the next room. It's very cute. It goes great together. Here, Rebecca, I need you to focus in here, OK? OK. OK, listen to me. Hey. I'm bleeding. I know. Medical will call you. They'll give you a Band-Aid. Now you sit down. No, you need to sit down and raise your hand. Basically, when she comes in here, it's the same thing. I'm getting kind of used to it, but she's gone through every emotion. I'm sure she just wants to go to bed and sleep it off. I've been employed with the agency for six years. Originally uh, from here, pretty much uh, grew up around in the Sarasota County area. Started this job because uh, I do have prior family in law enforcement uh, in the state of New York. You know, I like dealing with the people and serving my community. Now, you don't deal with crash like you're supposed to. That's in verbal order, so we'll find out what's going on. What do we got? Open container. Open container? Yeah. Right. What's, what's the story of upon and take? You just didn't want to sit down or what? Yeah, he's just being combative, drunk. Okay. Uh, at first, we started out at the park, nice and calm, and then in the parking lot, when uh, I told him I was going to write him a ticket, he started screaming at me in the parking lot. So right, basically right, talked right, himself right, into, uh, into an arrest. Right, so. You all you want. Right. You ain't get no money out of it. good. All right, we'll, uh, we'll get him processed in here and uh, get him out of your hair. All right. All right, Donald, step Thank over you. here for me. You ain't get no money out of me. OK, sir. You so what you're saying is you, right. you'd rather come to jail than have a ticket? I'm not paying you all no money for okay, some stupid ass ugly tank bull All right, well, you know it's an arrestable offense inside the city limits, right? Well, I have beer and coke this together. Okay. At a well, cop. well, it's still an open container. I don't give a damn. I'm not paying you all no money. Forget it. I don't want to hear Listen, it. Yeah, I don't hear it. Weapons, needles, razors, anything. No, I don't. No, I don't. Y'all worried about a little food? For your money, sir. If it's like, like, like I've had drugs, oh, now that would be a different story. Right. You know what, Nick Pickle and all that bull? Up to God, you think you get some money out of my ass. All right, well, then you'll just sit in here, and you'll end up getting a 30 day sentence. Go ahead. Okay. Make my day. Put your hand on top of your head. Yeah, I, I ain't done with y'all yeah. jazz yet. I'm going to take your ass to the newspaper. Y'all will learn who the hell I am. Right. Yeah, you ain't heard. Step right over there where it says photo ID and fingerprint. I ain't done with y'all jazz yet. Have a seat right there on that stool. Yo, learn you me. do realize that we're not going to arrest you. Yo, Listen, learn. you're not going to raise your voice at me. You understand? I, I didn't come You understand? Through. You understand? Yo, I'm not the one who arrested you. But I have been locked up. All right, so I don't need the attitude. Keep oh, okay. your hands down. I'm not giving you a pass. No, stand up. Sir, so don't run. I'm playing with you no more. Yo, learn me. Y'all got a nick pick on anything y'all can. Nine. I understand it's a container or something besides that. Come on. Step in here, have a seat. I'm sure will. Have a seat. Have a seat. Stop trying to pull away from I'm me. I'm going to sit down. I'm telling you to have a seat, and you're trying I'm, to pull away from I'm me. I'm going to prove this. I'm going to beat this. I will. Now, what? you're either going to do this quietly and properly, or you're going to be on the ground, and we remove your stuff for you. How do you want to play Y'all trying to make a big deal out of what? You're making the big deal out of nothing, sir. I asked I you to be quiet, care. and you want to yell no, over me. Oh. Take your shoes off. I don't know why you're making such a big deal out of a municipal ordinance. Listen, I don't want you screaming out this door. I don't want you banging on the door. I mean, we'll you understand? Do I'm not going to do that. All really? right, stay in here until you're ready to be processed, and then we'll take you out. You know what? I'm going to get through with y'all's hands. Good. You want to me? Are you really going to start again? Are it's you really going to start? I don't want to hear your mouth beat. Whatever. OK, keep it up. Keep it up. Doesn't want to cooperate. He's here for a misdemeanor crime, and he's making such a big deal out of nothing. So. Could have been out of here tomorrow, but he wants to run his mouth, so he'll probably stay at least another three or four days. Be nice to have just a one quiet night. We haven't had one in a while. It's been a couple hours. I'm going to uh, check on the uh, subject we had earlier that uh, came in highly intoxicated, see if he's going to be ready to process here. Hey, Donald. Yeah. Hey, you sit up for me for a second, please. I just want to find out. I want to, make, I want to know where my stuff's at, too, and I got locked up. OK. What, what stuff are you talking about? Oh, my stuff checked on first. I did my social security and all that stuff. Better be there. 
There's yeah. also a blue bag that I had, too. Okay, I don't know anything about that, all right? Well, I know one thing. Y'all better thing. find it. Then y'all I'm not going into your process. property, okay? I'm not going to get processed until I find out where my stuff's at, because I didn't see him break no blue bag in here. Okay. Do you remember anything that he came in with? He has ID, social security card, all in his wallet. Okay, so he did, it, it did come Yeah, it was in a little uh, metal case. Okay. It's okay. all there. I saw it myself. But that property lady already took it upstairs. It's gone. Okay. Sounds yeah. good. All right, I just spoke with the, the officer that did your property. Okay? She's assured me that your social, security, your social security card and your ID and everything, the property you came in with is in your property. The little white thing. It was, yes, that's what she said. Okay. But you got to understand, man, like, when you come in here... Okay, we could have got all, the, all this done. You could have watched us do your whole inventory, your property and everything. You know, but, I mean, I know you've been out drinking tonight. I only have one beer. Okay, well, well, how come you're so pissed off then? You know, y'all ain't got nothing better to do. All right, well, do you, are you want to get processed at this point or no? no? Not right now. Okay, well, we'll sit you in here for a while until you're ready to get processed. Some people that come in the facility, you know, under the influence of alcohol, especially with a subject like this, he's been here before, he knows the system. So a lot of times they just want to give us a hard time and not want to process. And unfortunately, until he's ready, there's not much we can do. Prisoner Jacqueline is up to be searched right now. Her and her boyfriend were brought in earlier tonight for joyriding in a stolen vehicle. She's been out here on the bench crying and yelling. So just listen. Please don't push me like that. This is very, this, this is very dishumanizing. Are you and your boyfriend getting into it a little bit? Or? No. Hands up here. Do you have anything on you that could stick, stab, or poke me? No, ma'am. What's down here? Oh, it's a stem. A stem from a pipe? Yeah. yeah. Do you have anything else still. on you? No, that's it. Did you use it earlier today? No. How come you have it on you? Because I was going to use it. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to Hey, we go grab a broom, so we don't step on that. That's my huh? Okay, lift up your right foot so we can sweep underneath it. Just so you know, I had that right here, and I don't, I forgot about it, and I don't know how it slid down my pants. I had it right here. Let's change her out of the pants, put her into gel pants. Let's walk her over here. Okay, okay just follow us. Okay, right. just let's go slow. Where was this? It was like right on the back of her leg right here when I was feeling up, going out and doing search. So I felt the, the outside and it felt like a pipe. That's got to be the, the ball. The ball. The pipe. Keep your hands on the mat. I'm not going to tell you again. You understand? You know what? Keep your hands on the mat. Stop rough handing me. Keep oh your my hands God. on the mat. OK? <laughs> Stop you need to listen. But it was him. Why can't you just ask me nicely? Oh my gosh, that's what I'm trying to do. And he rough me. No, no, I don't need the cuffs on. Oh my gosh, I can still freaking move and freak out with the freaking cuffs. Yeah, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Stop it right now. Stop. Resist it. Stop it. Stay still. If you guys will let go, I will stay still. You've had every chance to comply. Get your hand off my face. This is abuse. This is like, do you beat your wife like this? Yeah, I bet you do. Ready? I have seizures. You guys are going to put me in a seizure. Take a tether. Grab a tether, Fisher. Let go of me. P. P2. Rebecca, listen. I'm going to hurt you. Just listen. So you cool down. Okay. Just stay there for a second. When you calm down, we'll come back and we'll start working with you, all right? Jack is pretty upset out here during the intake search. Uh, tried to pull away from me, kept turning towards me. I thought for one minute she was going to spit on me. Uh, sometimes they'll try and swing their arms and backhand us. But we just take all those threats pretty seriously. Thank you. 
Did you drink today? No. Any drugs or anything? Yeah, I, I, I did some drugs. I smoked some spice and... Do you have any withdrawal problems off of that that you know of? No, but I also smoked some meth, so... 95%? Okay, all right, that was uh, she's been cleared by medical staff to, to be moved down to a different cell. Her, her behavior is good. She's cooperating with the officers. And once that happens, we'll move her to another cell, and that's just one step closer to being out and being through the booking process. I've been with the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department for about five years now. This is a fast-paced job. I mean, you got to have a cool demeanor to work in this job. Sometimes when people get in your face, it's kind of hard to, to just to keep it cool and relax because you don't want the person to get hurt, and all of a sudden you don't want to get yourself to get hurt. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. It's all right. It's all right. She can ask you some questions. Okay, Jerry, just go and answer the questions. So, how much have you been drinking tonight? Oh, I had a half a glass of wine, and I think that's the lady they called them. I think they called me. Just one glass of wine? Just one glass of wine? A half, half a glass. glass. Okay. I didn't even finish. I'm not a drinker, and I'm not a smoker. I run 15 miles a week. Well, that's pretty good. Come on, Jerry. Have a seat over here, sir. And I'm raising two adopted children. I'm sorry. It's okay. Thank you, ma'am. Sorry. That's okay. Fine. All right, Jerry, have a seat here. right here. Yep. Here. Yep. Just have a seat. That's not for your name, okay? Somebody will call your name. I'm They'll go sorry. back there. Don't no, worry, don't worry. Really Somebody will call your name, all right? You probably got to get your fingerprinted. I'm Make not, sure I'm they'll sorry. go back there. No, don't worry, don't worry. I know. I'm just letting you know what's happening now, okay? I love my granddaughter Just hang on here, okay? He was at a uh, grocery store, and um, I guess he came back to purchase some um, wine. And uh, the people there recognized him from earlier, recognized that he was staggering, and he appeared that he had too much to drink. They kind of turned him away, and he went back to his car, and then he headed southbound. The transport unit located the vehicle, made the vehicle stop, yeah. because he was heavily intoxicated. So Yeah. He uh, failed his uh, breath test. He said, I didn't have anything to drink. No. This isn't his first rodeo. Oh, no, it's not. It's not his first DUI? No. Really? It's like his several. <laughs> really? Yes. Wow. OK. Did you see his watch? Our same driver, 20 years. Oh, wow. He's in here for, for uh, DUI. Yeah, for DUI. Yeah. Great home bus. Check it out. He got it from his uh, from his work. Yeah. Dang, 20 years. How you feeling now, Jerry? You OK? You sobering up a little bit? I was a jumper. A jumper in the... Uh, what, what armed forces were you? 82nd Airborne. All right. All right, let's have a seat right here, OK? Oh, I'm sorry. It's all right. Put slippers on? No, just leave them there really quick. Oh, sorry. Oh, moving on all this way. Sorry. When you work in a Greyhound bus, did you ever get caught drinking and driving in those 41 years? I never drank. Never drank and drive? I never, never drank. I never. I drank a half a glass of wine tonight. Mm -hmm. And I think that girl called. Metro and, and they got you. Uh, yeah, got you here. I couldn't believe. Have it. you ever been here before, Jerry? You've been in Clark County. Oh, no, you're kidding. First time here. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. So you never been here before, Jerry? Ever? <laughs> Since uh, in the last five you years. You know everything. You know everything. Well, I'm asking you. You actually told me this is your first time here, which isn't true. This is your fifth time here. Oh, no. Oh, no. This I your fifth time. I was embarrassed. I am really embarrassed. Really embarrassed. Embarrassed. I'm ashamed of myself. So? Because my wife died, and my son-in-law died, and my daughter died. Is that what is, is making you drink so much, Jerry? Oh, and it's the only reason. I never drank before. I grew up for Greyhound 41 years, never had a drink. I'm 73 years old. I know. You shouldn't be drinking that, that way. Yeah, I can't Not at all. believe what I've done. I can't believe what I've done. All right, go ahead and sign for your property and your money. Oh. All right, this is your pen on your right-hand side. This is your charge is DUI with alcohol, and your bail is $2,000, OK? Oh, my god. All right, it's a misdemeanor now. Uh, don't know when it's, uh... I can pay it now. 
OK. All right, Jared, let's go this way. All right, Jerry, this is your charge now. You post your bail. You'll be getting out of here within, like, between 8 and 10 hours, OK? Really? Yep. Hopefully sooner than that, all right? Have a seat right back here. Thank you. No problem. Take that. Yeah, no, this is mine. So he'd be out of here about 10 hours. Um, he was a bus driver and didn't drink once for 41 years. I just hope I don't see him again. Sharp on your knives, needles, razor blades, nothing like that? Nope, just my mind, man. My mind is sharp. All right. What brings you in other than the police? Other than the police? Being caught. Being caught doing what? Being caught being a thief. What were you trying to steal? <laughs> no, nah, actually, actually, I wasn't stealing. I was I was with somebody who was stealing, and I got caught. It happens. So you guys actually did the stealing. Got he, got, away he got away. He got away, and, you and I got caught. And you got caught. Exactly. That's a bum deal. You go to college? Yeah. What you study? Business entrepreneurship. <laughs> they talk to you about, uh... I don't even want to go there. <laughs> All right, you're going to have a seat right. right over here. He was under arrest at Fred Meyer for shoplifting. Oh, the security had already. Security already arrested him. So when I got there, I uh, literally read the report, then put, found that I had probable cause for the arrest, put him in handcuffs, and transported him to jail. Oh. Fantastic. Thank you much. Appreciate it. Well, in a nutshell, what happened? I went to buy a volleyball for my daughter and buy a Which movie. is the one that you guys got? It's the one I got. OK. And I'm walking out. I see this guy talking to him, walking with him, asked me to do something I shouldn't have did. I did it, got caught, and I'm here. Split decision, man. I could have easily just been like, no. Nah. Just walked out, and I would have been at home right now with my kids watching Puss in Boots. Have you ever been in jail before? Yeah, I've been here before. Similar types of things or something else? Similar, just the same thing. Yeah. Def before I even asked you that question, I was getting ready to say, I think that you probably won't be back again. But you've had a history, so you've already, had, so you've already you, been so, here before. So you think I will be back again? Well, you've, you've been here before, right? True. So now, when you're here at one point, and then you come back again, you're classified as a recidivist. Recidivist, that what is that? means that you have come back to jail again. You're, it's a reoccurring thing. You go out, you come back, you go out, you come back. So the more times you come here, the more times you'll continue to come here. If you're on parole or probation, you don't report, you're not paying your fines, you go to jail. See, that's a real slippery slope. So how do you get out of that? How do you change your thinking? Everything that you're thinking right now, had you a thought that when you were with your boy, the first time it wouldn't happen, you'd have been like, I need to be at home with my babies. You know what I thought, too? The reason why I went with it, I feel like it's because of my struggle. Even though I was able to go in there, and I'm blessed to go in there and buy my kids when I needed to buy them, something else got into my head. And, and I think it was greed, too, because I was just. That's exactly what it is. That's, that's what it was. It was that's just, not a struggle, though. Listen to me. If you were going in there and you had no, listen for a second, if you had no money, you didn't have a roof over your head, and you were going to get some food for your babies, I'm like, man, that sucks, but I understand it. I get that. Not saying it's right, but I understand it. You were going to buy some shoes. You bought a volleyball. My daughter loves volleyball. I, that's not a struggle, bro. That right then and of itself is not a struggle. You said you could have been at home watching Puss in Boots. Means you got a house, you got a TV, you got a DVD player, and time to sit down with your babies. That's not a struggle either. So maybe you need to recalibrate on what you really feel like a struggle is. Maybe that's what I need to do. You know, know what I mean? All right, I got to get back to work. Jay Sean, let's go, man. Uh, released? It's quick. I appreciate what you told me today. Man, man. that's real talk, you know honestly. I mean. That that word is, it's it, it, it settled with me. Which accountability? Which uh, word? The reset, what, what's Recidivist. It Recidivist. Re yeah. I'm going to take that with me wherever I go. Because I don't want to be recidivist. You already are. But you don't have to continue to be. Exactly. 
the moment you came back to me and, and said that, because you, you know, you, you, you evaluated my character. Because you seem like a stand-up guy. I mean, the first one of the first things you talked about was your babies, you know what I mean? And you went to the store for your kids to get them some things. You said, I should have been at home with my kids watching a movie. To me, that speaks a lot about your character. That does in and of itself. And then, you know, you were like, I should have done it, I made a poor decision. I mean, you're not making excuses. That's huge, man. So honestly, this is the last time I see you. What's your name, man? Sergeant Scott, man. Sergeant Scott, yeah. I appreciate you. This will be my last time. I hope so. I think Jay Sean learned a huge lesson. For some reason, the word recidivist really resonated with him. He says, I don't want to be that word. Honestly, I don't really expect to see him here again. I don't. I spent four years in the Marine Corps Infantry. Having prior military experience really helps this job become an easy transition. You learn discipline, you learn teamwork, camaraderie, and you're all family, you watch each other's back, make sure everybody goes home at night safely. I'll come back and talk to you, okay? You want to talk to an attorney? Once you sobered up, we'll get you out of here, okay? I am sober. I'm not gonna argue with you, okay? Sober up and we'll get you out of that cell. Okay, let's walk over here. What am I charged with? I don't know what your charges are. I haven't even looked at it. You said you were doing a little bit of meth today, right? We're gonna walk this way. Okay, we're gonna put you in the cell, and then you're gonna go talk to pretrial. We got prisoner Jones up here getting ready to search him. Looks like my officers are running over to D2. We got something going on. Give us your hands. Give us your hands. Come on, man. Put your hands on your back. Yeah. Give us your hands. I got it. Come on, man. Am I dead? Sure. Am I dead? Put him in H5. Just tell me now. Just relax. Please just tell me no, I'm dead. Two feet. Two feet back. Go. Take your knees. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Come on, man. Stop fighting. Hey, stop fighting. You need this. Quit resisting. Come on, man. Can I have some answers here? Can I have some answers here, please? Quit. I'm not resisting. I got it. You got it. Come on, man. Can I have some answers, please? Put your hands in the corner. Come on, man. Hey, can you guys do me a favor? Yes. Can you get the guy in D2 to figure out what's going on? Can you check about the room, sir? Don't resist. Ah, uh, come on, man. Jesus! Stay in there! Stay in the order! 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 Terrible, nasty place, and put me in with some insane person. What was your deal tonight? Nothing. You got to calm down so we can get you booked in and get you down to a bed or get you released, whatever's going to happen with you. That's going to be based on your behavior. All right, Cody, we'll come talk to you later, all right? Cody was just involved in solving another prisoner, had him in a chokehold at the door. They were in our drunk tank. I responded over there with my other officers, and I was able to grab hold of him, take him down to the ground, and uh, move him to a padded cell for his safety and our safety so we could find out what's going on, drugs, mental health issues, whatever the case may be. What do you want to know, Cody? Well, you're put in the cell because of your actions over here are getting D2. Were you doing drugs earlier today? Did I do something today? Yeah. Yes. What kind of drugs were you taking? Meds. Meds? No, meds. Meth? How long ago? This morning. This morning? Are you still feeling the effects of it pretty good? Well, my wasn't until I got my temper. Okay. 
So we're gonna have the nurses come by. We're gonna check you out. How you feeling? You sore or anything? You okay? All right. Okay. Bella, you wanna get your back medical? Dave, put your back right here. Your back, right here. My back? Come here. Right there. Although he's been compliant thus far, uh, his behavior is still a little bit bizarre because of some of the drugs in the system. He's just been charged with a warrant. Uh, he could possibly bail or bond out, but it still doesn't mean that he won't be held accountable for his actions earlier today. We'll have the report screened by our jail investigator to determine whether charges will actually be filed. You gotta drink it all right here. You can't take it inside with you, okay? There you go. What's, what's in it? I mean, what's gonna be going on? Am I gonna be able to get out of here or what? Drink, drink. it. Okay. Let's do the checks and then we'll take care of that later, okay? Cody has actually been pretty compliant with a couple of the nurse checks and with our instructions, so we're gonna keep him separate for a little bit and then we're gonna eventually get him walked through the booking process. I think the unique thing about working graveyard is the fact that the clientele is quite different. It's a lot of uh, the night folks where they're out and usually commit crimes. So people come in, they're mostly uh, not very cooperative, which makes our job a little bit more challenging. Right over here. <laughs> you, no. Hi. How you doing? Welcome. Thanks. Problem. Anything sharp on you? Gonna stick me? Poke me any drugs? No, I don't. Sorry. Okay, diabetic? I'm not. Can I get one of those paper towels wiping my face off? When we're done. Okay. Is that sweat or rain? A little both. Yeah. Yeah. They had me sitting in a puddle. I was asking if I could stand up. They wouldn't let me, though. Oh, Hastings is a real, he's a hard one. You know, he slammed my face up against the car, told me to off with my shirt, that kind of stuff, you know, but he really likes what his job. What did you do? So. Nothing, I was just standing on the corner. Just mind your own business, but... No, they said I was uh, resisting, or I don't know what he said I was doing, disorderly conduct, some BS, I don't know. When I take the cuffs off, put your hands up on the counter. I will do. Look at that. No. Put your hand on the counter. <laughs> What's the problem, man? Am I doing something wrong? Yeah, you're not doing as you're told. Oh, now no, put man. your hands on the counter. I heard you. Now, bend down, take your shoes off, put your shoes on the counter. Now, hands on the counter, step back, spread your legs. Can I get a Step phone call or ask Put your hand mind? on the counter. Jesus, come on. Well, come on. Okay. We don't deal with everybody that's sweet and nice, okay? Okay, I'm sorry. Anything good in there? See that silliness coming out of your mouth to get you into hot water? Was well, it anything good in there? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Could you tell us your version, officer? <clears throat> we got calls about a drunk male. People thought we was drunk. And uh, when I got there, he was marching around in circles on the sidewalk, uh, barking, grunting. He apparently noticed who we were and then became uncooperative, much like we've seen here. It's just funny, man. What are you doing now? I need that phone, though, to make a phone call to my lawyer. I can't call somebody? Yeah, you can. There's oh, a phone okay. in the back. Yeah, I need my phone to get the number. Is that right? Or... Not now, because you already took the battery out. What do you mean? I can't get the phone number to call somebody? No, not now. You don't get to make a phone call and you get arrested? You do. We're done. Let's go. Yeah. Well, is that not a question I can Let's ask? Well, no. you're just not that listening way. to the answers. Let's go. Is that his coat? Oh, that is my coat. coat. on the ground. I heard and you. Head that way. Asking the then question. move. Now go that way. Passive aggressive nature. That's my thing. Is. Yeah. It's kind of like one of those, like, oh, come on. I don't want to. I'm not causing a problem, but everything coming out of your mouth is. OK, whatever. It is. It is. I'm sorry. So let me ask you this. What? Are you a good student in school? I am pretty you good. You are? I am, yeah. How? What do you mean? Well, if the teacher gave me an assignment, I could just see you saying, what the hell is this for? What are we well, doing with this? Yeah. Well, usually Why do I answer there, this you know? question? Come on, Paul. OK, Joe, this is very important. Okay. You can be out of jail in a matter of probably three hours. OK. Or if you become a problem, we have these side rooms that you go into. scary looking. And you'll be in there a minimum of eight more hours. Eight more hours on top of the three? Right. All right, I don't want to do that. OK, so He's no more silly phone. questions. Like, no more I, I need to call to my, my attorney. Lawyer. I can't ask for that. I'm no, that's, ask. Can't that's ask silly stuff. That is? OK. Because there's a phone around the corner. You can use it. You can call whoever you want. Who's that guy? Hey. Joe. 
I'm sorry. Can I ask one more question? One more. It's the last one, I promise. This better not be about your attorney. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it wasn't gonna be, sorry, uh, man. I gotcha. <laughs> okay, we'll have a seat. Okay. Thanks. Okay, all right. I'll be back. Thanks, man. Over now. Hey, Joe, watch your step. This is uh, wet. wet and you have no That's shoelaces. Awful. I'm very impressed that you made it. To what? You, did, you, didn't, you didn't go oh, into a little side room. Come on. Everybody's different, you know what I mean? How did you do a job here, man? You're the nicest one that works here. You're just lucky, I guess. Yeah, I'm just living right. Living right. right side here. That's where we see our eyes, or? Oh. <laughs> Thanks a lot, man. All right, Joe. Good luck. I'm giving you a hard time. Hey, <laughs> try stand-up comedian. You're good stand-up. So you had a good sense of humor, huh? No, I guess. Yeah, I tried to. Well, Joe seemed to uh, talk his way into jail. Joe just does not know when to stop talking, and that seems to be what his problem is. That's what got him here, and that's what most likely will get him back. Every stinking test. This guy just got arrested for a DUI. He doesn't seem very happy right now. He's kind of yelling at the officer. He arrested him. Come up here. I have the worst luck of anybody in the world. So what do you got here? Stuck in front of his seatbelt and an open container. And he did not pass my field sobriety exercises. Uh, how has he been acting? A little erratic, slightly paranoid. Are you going to do the breath test, or are you going to have him do it? Our time together has been too entertaining, so I'm going to go ahead and pass the buck. Excellent. Now, was anybody injured or anything like that? No. You caught the observations of him swerving or doing something silly? Uh, down he drove past where I was sitting with no seatbelt on, and I stopped him about 60 feet later. OK, so you, you saw him? Yeah, as he took a swig of his beer. <laughs> So you, you saw him with the no seat belt, so that was your probable cause for the arrest. You know how much it costs you drunk driving? Sir, you know, just, just, I've heard about sir. it. Okay, sir. It looks like you guys went out and caught somebody and pinned a drunk driver now. That's a lie. Who went court, brother? If I wasn't wearing a seat belt, why didn't you give me a ticket for not wearing a seat, uh, wearing a seat belt? I did. It's sitting up there. What a liar. Oh, just keep blowing until I tell you stop. Go, 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 keep going, 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 okay. That machine is fixed. I'm not drunk, so I know that, and that's that's what I know for a fact. Your breath test results are 0.09 and 0.10. Under 0.08 is the legal limit of the state of Florida. So I'm one point over, right? Well, that's a given right there. That's a given. The machine's going to do that. That's a given, brother. Come on out this way. You guys got a record of my past? No I, felonies, I no, dr no nothing. There's nothing on my record. Nothing. Step happened. back over to the He's going to take care of you, okay? Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm yelling. I'm just pissed. So, this is uh, the copy for a seatbelt ticket and the for your probable container. cause and the open container? Yep. The only thing I'm going to admit to is the open container because my friend just gave it to me. I didn't even take but one drink out of it. Uh, well, I will admit to that. The rest is false. Totally so, false. you were brought in here. For under the charge of DUI. But he didn't pull me over for DUI. No. He had probable cause to pull he you over. He said I didn't have my license, my, my, my uh, 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 seatbelt on, but I did. A girl I know ripped me off two or three weeks ago. I called her probation officer. She's nothing but a drughead, crackhead, thieving woman. And I told him, check her now. She's full of drugs. And her parents are millionaires. millionaires. OK, sir, so well, what's that got to do with you? She, she threat called me, threatened me. I'm going to get you pulled over, and they're going to find a beer in your car. Well, that's exactly what's happening right now, two weeks later, right? OK. He's bought the goddamn probation officer. Who put that alcohol there? My friend. Your friend. Yeah. Who was drinking that alcohol? I drank one drink of it. 
Okay, so you admit to drinking at least one drink of it. The intoxilizer said that you're over the legal limit. I'm telling you, he pulled me over because he set up to pull me over. Okay. So that's why. One sip of alcohol. That's why. And you're telling me that allowed you to be intoxicated enough to, to blow over. I wasn't pulled over for anything I did wrong driving. No. Nothing. Zero. And all the tests that you guys do Don't on the street, Don't I pass every me. one of them with flying colors. Every one of them. Deputy Kasman, did you see any indicators that this gentleman was under the influence of alcohol or drugs? I would think that would be readily apparent by our presence and booking. So you're saying yes, you did. You guys want to do it? Do it oh, to me now. Sit down. Do sit that down. test to me sit, now. Sit down. I'll do it with handcuffs, family. So you're I'll saying do better than he would? Hold on. It was all planned and fixed. All right. Okay, we're stepping right into this door here. You're going to go to your left, to your left, because you're being charged with the DUI. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to stay in our facility for a period of no less than eight hours. I, I want you to have a seat right I here. I've got to be here for eight hours. I don't understand that part. You don't understand that part. Oh, that right there, sir, all it is is to ensure that you are sober before you leave. I was sober when I got pulled over. Why is it that everybody else around you is lying except they're for lying, you? They're lying. Because I passed all them tests. I passed them off. You were driving without a seatbelt. That's a lie. I'll fight that to the end. All right, Robert. You're going to step over there, and Deputy Shea's going to take your picture. Step right over there, sir. Look right here at this camera. He was a little bit agitated during the processing, but if he continues to behave himself, then you know, we'll allow them to stay out there and be able to utilize the phones and try and contact somebody to arrange bond or bail for them. We've been notified by control that we have a code 5 male and female coming in. Evidently, it's a related incident, so we're going to see if we can get them to possibly just walk in. That guy that stole my bike, I want to hit him. Don't bring her in first. Yeah, you're princess. Guys, I'm really in. I know. Can I see my bike? Did Adams come out? Yeah, you know, we're OK. That's my bike. Turn around and go that way. Is that my bike? Hey, Vegas, turn around and go that way. I responded to a possible robbery event. Uh, when I made contact with the victim, she was highly agitated, agitated, exhibited signs of being under the influence of a central nervous system stimulant. She freely admitted that she was attempting to sell prescription medication to, uh, to have money to buy alcohol. The subject she initially made contact with took her bike and drove off. Oh. She called and said she was a robbery victim, then proceeded to incriminate herself in a whole nother crime. You're a robbery victim within a drug deal? Correct. Okay. Drug deal right. gone bad. What are you charging Lori with? Uh, she's getting charged with possession of dangerous drugs without a prescription mm -hmm. and possession of controlled substance with intent to sell. All right. I didn't think that was illegal. If I knew it was illegal, you know. Well, you know now, right? Yeah. OK, no. But is, is it you like big time trouble or something? I believe it is a felony. So you will have to talk to pretrial services later in the morning. You know, I had some pills in my pocket because I was going to my friends on Fremont. And uh, I had my bike. I didn't have the lid for the, for the antacid bottle that I had them in. So they fell out. And um, uh, the dude was taking my bike. And I said, hey, man, I got pills. I got, you know, I, I, you know, come on, man, I'll give you a pill. Just buy me a beer or something, because that's really all I was after. And he goes, well, this dope dealer over here, he owes me some money. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I got to go over there and get it. And it seemed kind of shady, because we'll, we'll get to the window. The window opened, and uh, So you didn't go to the front door? You went to a no, window? No, yeah. And I was, like, standing off to the side going, this, this don't look right. And I could hear him through the window going, hey, take her bike, take her bike, take whatever she's got. So I started to back up and started to go back the other way, say, hey, I got to go. And he started going spastic on me. And then he started taking off with my bike. And I said, hey, man, I got Xanax. I got whatever, you know, just, just give me back my bike. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to sell drugs. I mean, okay. I'd give him a Xanax bar because he okay. look, at, look at him. He was like this, doing all this. When you want to give somebody like that some help, 
sometimes I'm easily swayed and I'm too nice to people that okay. I know are no good. But he had So my what have bike. you learned? What have you learned tonight? Well, not to ever trade your 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 medication for 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 a drink. But I was like nervous. The guy was wanting to slap me down and stuff. He was a, a crazed maniac. Mm -hmm. And he's got your bike. You're willing to give up anything. Right. I wasn't want to give up my body, but a but pill. You, you did kind of put yourself in that position, right? Where yeah. you were around this guy, where he was able to have the opportunity to take your bike. I think you're hanging out in places that are too dangerous. I just stay home. Yeah, stay home or find a different place to go. Okay. Okay. And leave my medication home. Leave your medication at home. All right. Go sit down. Trading, giving, selling, it's one big blur. We'll get her through with her booking photo and get her fingerprinted, get her to the other side. So she's having her breakfast now. She doesn't seem too worried about being here. It's just hard when you live in Vegas to do without, you know what I mean? Somehow you just want to, you know, have fun. Girl, just want to have fun. Doesn't work out that way. <laughs> The doors open up and they leave me outside. I'm gonna go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my home, I've been thinking about my needs. I don't wanna.